Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tech Super channel. Today, in this video, I am going to show how to create a new parameterized data set using SQL query. So in one of the videos, I have shown how to create a data set based on a SQL query. But sometimes you also need to create a parameterized data set where you can pass the particular parameter into the data set to fetch the filtered result. So in this video, I am going to show you the same. So please be in touch with me till the end of this video. And before we start, I will request everybody to subscribe to my channel to get regular updates. So let's begin. All right, so here I have logged in into the uh, BI and from here, let's uh, click on the create button and click on a data set data model all right and from here i will click on a plus sql based sql query and let's say employ dm parameter okay this is the name and i will choose our standard and from here i will choose my hcm so if you would like to create a parameter so what you can do let's select start from per all people have where p underscore person id equals to colon p id so now what will happen the p id parameter will be created if you click on a okay okay P person ID is not the correct parameter. We check what is the correct okay person number. This is the person number. Okay. So when you click on the OK button in the next screen, you will see it will show you one of the parameter. The reason is we have given one parameter in a column. If you don't do this, so what you can do, you can come to the parameter first. And from here, you can create your parameter. Let's say P person ID. Okay, you can choose the data type. It's let's say integer, and the parameter type is text or menu and date. Let's choose text. You can make it mandatory if you want. Okay, this is how you can create parameters. Now let's go back to your data set that is <clears throat> created. You can edit it. And you can say PID. So instead of PID, I will use P person ID. So that way, if you have already created the parameter, it will it will start pointing to the same and click on OK. All right. Now, if you go to the structure, you switch the data and it will show you the parameter. You can see parameter and it is star so there's a one more thing if you click on a person id you have not given any display name let's say enter person id all right now if you go back here so you have to shuffle from one tab to another to just reflect the changes or here you see enter person id now you have to mandatory pass if you don't pass and you see view it will say you need to pass one parameter here let's say 10 and view Invalid number, person ID is not the valid number. Good. All right. All right. So let me change my query. Okay. Go to the diagram, add it. So this is not the correct query that I need to make. Just give me a minute. So here I'm putting the right query where you can see. P underscore person ID. Okay. <clears throat> now go to the data. And now put 10 here. Wait. Oh, invalid number. Maybe the type should be a string. Let me see now. So it should be a string type. And here we go. 
So this is how you can create parameter. There are two ways to create parameter. Either you go to the parameter, register a new parameter here, or use that parameter name. Or you, you when you <laughs> write a query <laughs> directly, you can pass your parameter here like this, like a star from 12 where ABC equals to colon name. So name will become one of the parameter in your parameters list automatically. So this is how you can create parameterized data set in Oracle BI. Hope you find this this video useful. If yes, please like, comment, and share. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get regular updates. You can follow me on LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. Thanks for watching the video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.